Thank People, you. the search results, the, the searches for terror issues, for safety issues in America have gone through the roof, increased over 400 percent since 2008. People are worried. They're worried about what's happening in the country and about a domestic terror attack, as all of you know. We're now going to start to drill down into specific issues that are on voters' minds, and we're going to start with one of the biggest ones, which is foreign terror. According to Google, ISIS was by far the most searched foreign policy topic over the last year. Senator Cruz, you talk tough about fighting terrorism. You talk about carpet bombing into oblivion. Speaking of veterans, we have a question from a veteran who is one of the top YouTube creators. Over the course of the evening, gentlemen, we will hear from some of YouTube's most followed stars. And here's one of them. I'm Mark Watson. I'm known for my tech reviews on YouTube, but I'm also a veteran who served in the Army for eight years. As an African-American living near Ferguson, I've seen the strain between police officers and the communities they serve firsthand. Now, there are great tools like body cameras that can protect both officers and citizens, but we all currently have better cameras in our pockets than in our precincts. Why aren't we using the technology available to better protect our communities? This debate is just getting started, coming up the role of the federal government. But first, join tonight's, tonight's conversation right from your home. Go to Google.com or open your Google search app and search Fox News debate to vote on which issue is most important to you. You're not alone. Google data shows that in the last month, when people searched policy repeals, that there were a lot of them. Obamacare took the top two spots. But today, there are millions of people who gained health insurance. Let's get to a YouTube question. Let's get to a YouTube question. This is a question from a YouTube creator with over 2 million subscribers. Watch. Abdul Sikandi, a YouTube creator who immigrated to the United States from Mexico when I was a little girl. Since then, I am proud to say that I served in the armed forces in Iraq, became a citizen, and I am now an entrepreneur. There are many immigrants who contribute positively to the American economy. But some of the comments in the campaign make us question our place in this country. If America does not seem like a welcoming place for immigrant entrepreneurs, will the American economy suffer? Much more to come, including where the candidates stand on foreign policy. And once again, you can go to Google.com or open your Google search app and search Fox News Debate to vote on which candidate you think is winning the debate tonight. We'll be right back. And remember, to see how the campaigns are responding to the debate in real time, go to Google.com or open your Google search app and search Fox News Debate. And please stay with us. We have another question from one of YouTube's top creators. Here it is. I'm Nabella Lenoir. I'm a Muslim American born and raised in the U.S. who creates beauty and lifestyle videos on YouTube. In 2015, the number of hate crimes against Muslims in the U.S. has tripled. And on social media, where I spend a lot of time, I've seen many attacks directed towards fellow Muslims. This culture of hatred is only driving ISIS to radicalize, recruit, and incite violence. As president, what would you do to address this toxic climate and promote increased tolerance in the United States? 